Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to knit the double brim hat. It is very easy project and I hope you enjoy. For this project I'm using patterns or paga blend from yarn parations. It is 3.5 ounces, 100 gram, and 155 yards each skin. And the color is Tiger Eye. The yarn size, Bulky 5. And then this, the other color is the same brand, Patton Opaka Blend from Yarn Peration and the same side. And this is the color here. Oats. And this is my second time using this yarn. And I love this yarn. <laughs> I always go back to the yarn that I like. Oh, always go back and get it. And then you will need circular knitting needle, 16 inches. And the needle size, US 10, 6 millimeters. And scissors, marker, and your needle. I also used fluffy fur pom-pom. I bought this from Etsy. And if you want to make your own pom-pom uh, by using pom-pom maker with your leftover yarn, you can do that as well. And I also have video tutorial for that. I will put the link in the description below. Before we start, I just want to show you guys the finished project. So this two hat, I just used two skeins of yarn. That's what I have left. So two skein, is, uh, you will have enough for two hats. But you have to change the, um, the main color. Because the main color, you need uh, more yarn. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this is the brim, the inside, you just need about 30 yards, and then the rest is the main color. That's why this two hat is different color. <laughs> and see, I still have the yarn left, it's pretty cool. And this is very easy project. You just know how to cast on and then uh, knit and you're good to go. And I will show you the row that we're gonna make the double brim. It's very easy. It's not difficult. I'm just gonna go slowly. I have free written pattern for the side that I'm making. With the size adult woman medium, it should fit most women. It's available on my blog. I will put the link in the description below. And if you want different sizes, which is size adult woman small to adult woman large, it's available on my SC shop. It is pinnable version and I also gonna put the link in the description below. Okay, I hope you enjoy. Okay, I'm gonna start with the color A. So the color A, the first color that you choose is gonna be the color that inside the brim. So I'm gonna make long tail cast on. I make sure I have enough tail to cast on and make slip knot and insert my needle in there. So the slip knot is cut as one stitch. If you don't know how to make long tail cast on, I have video tutorial for that. I will put the link in the description below. You can check it out. So now I have one stitch. I'm going to cast on 63 stitches. So this is two, three, four, Five. Make sure you're not cast on too tight, okay? And I will meet you guys back in when you have 63 stitches cast on. Now I have 63 stitches cast on. 
and we're gonna join around. But before we join around, make sure all your stitches is lined up like that. Make sure it's not uh, twist like this, okay? If twist like this, it's not good. Okay, it should look like this. All right, and then we're gonna join around. So your tail and then your working yarn should be on your right hand needle and then we're gonna place the marker into the right needle and we're gonna knit the first stitch and we're gonna use two strand to knit the first stitch that's what I like to do <laughs> just to make sure that the first stitch is secure so I'm just gonna Insert my needle and then I'm gonna knit the first stitch using two strands of yarn. Just knit. Okay, this is count as one stitch, okay? And then I'm just gonna drop the tail and then keep knitting with my working yarn. Okay, I'm just gonna knit. Just knitting. So this is row one. You're just gonna keep knitting into each stitch around, and then I will meet you guys back in when you come to the end of round one. So now I have two stitches left. I just want to show you guys. <laughs> it's just normal. Just knit the last two stitches. Okay, this is the end of round one. And then I just gonna remove marker from the left needle into the right needle, like so. And then start row two. So remember the first stitch we used two strands of yarn. Make sure that you're gonna knit uh, those two strands of yarn. Twist them like one stitch, okay? Okay, and then we're just gonna keep knitting. And you need to knit Till you have 18 rounds and the end of each round you're gonna uh, transfer your stitch marker from the left needle into the right needle okay and I will meet you guys back in when you have 18 rounds now I have 18 rounds and then for round 19, we're gonna change color. So I'm gonna bring my color B here. This is my color B. And if you want uh, to use one color, you're just gonna keep knitting the same color. Okay, so I'm gonna knit the next stitch, uh, the first stitch, sorry right here and then I'm gonna bring my color B and make a loop like so and then put in the right needle and just knit and then I'm gonna knit into next stitch And then just gonna keep knitting into each stitches. It's the same pattern. Okay, and then I'm just gonna cut my color A. 
cut the yarn and then I'm just gonna tie those tail together color B and color A tie a couple knot and then I'm just gonna keep knitting with the uh, color B this is round 19 so for round 19 to round 32 we just gonna keep knitting with the color B and every round the end of each round you're gonna transfer your stitch marker from the left needle into the right needle so you know where is the end of each round okay and I will meet you guys back in when you have 32 rounds now I have 32 rounds that's what it look like and then now we're gonna fold the uh, head in half inside like so oops we're gonna create the uh, double brim okay like I said we're gonna create the uh, double brim so I place the marker back in into the right knitting needle this is the tail where we start cast on so this is, should be the first cast on okay and then I got them bring my first cast on stitch into the left knitting needle so I put the tail inside the brim first <laughs> and this is round 33 so this is the first cast on stitch I'm gonna bring into the left knitting needle and then we're gonna knit the first stitch and the first cast on stitch together see knit those two stitches together and we're gonna do that into each cast on stitch and into each stitches okay so this is, should be the second cast on stitch this is the third cast on stitch and this is the fourth cast on stitch and I'm gonna bring my second cast on stitch into the left knitting needle and then I'm gonna knit the second stitch and the second cast on stitch together see knit those two stitches together And I'm going to bring my third cast on stitch into the left knitting needle. And then knit the third stitch and the third cast on stitch together. And we're just gonna repeat that around. So you can take your time, go slowly. This is not difficult, but you just have to take your time and go right to the right stitches. <laughs> See, this is each cast on stitches. So this is the next stitch here, next cast on stitch. I'm just gonna bring into the left knitting needle and then knit the next stitch and the next, the next cast on stitch together. See, pretty easy, right? You're just gonna keep doing that. Like I said, take your time and uh, go slowly and I will meet you guys back in when you come to the end of round 33. 
Now I have one stitch left and then one cast on stitch left. I just want to show you guys. <laughs> so this is my last cast on stitch and I'm gonna bring into the left knitting needle and then I'm gonna knit the last stitch and then the last cast on stitch together. And then round 34, I'm gonna transfer marker first and then we're just gonna knit. Okay, and I just wanna show you guys that's what it looks like. We just create the double brim. See, really nice and very warm. And round 34 to round 60, you're gonna keep knitting into each stitch. Make sure you place the marker back in every single round, okay? And I will meet you guys back in when you come to the end of round 60. Now I have 60 rounds, that's what it looks like. And next, we're gonna closing up the hat. And it's just gonna cut the yarn, I leave a tail about 16 to 18 inches and cut it. And I bring my yarn needle and insert my tail in there. We're just gonna insert into each stitch around. So I just remove marker, we don't need that anymore. So it doesn't matter. You're going to this way or this way, okay? I'm just gonna go this way, purwise. So I just insert into each stitch. Okay, you're gonna do that into each stitch around. I have two stitches left, I'm just gonna insert my needle into those two stitches. Do the same. And then we're gonna pull it tight, like so. This is how we closing up the hole, the hat, sorry. <laughs> okay. And I'm just going to insert my needle into a few stitches here. It's the same stitch that we insert before, but I just want to make sure it's secure. Right? And then I'm just going to bring my tail to the inside inside of the hat and I'm just gonna tie a few knot And make sure it's secure and then you trim the tail. Okay, I just want to show you guys what my hat look like. This is the inside and this is the outside. And this is the top of the hat. You can leave it like that or you can put the pom-pom in there. Okay, so like I said, I use the furry pom-pom. I bought it from Etsy or you can make your own pom-pom as well. I'm just gonna bring my yarn needle and then insert my needle in there, right there and bring it inside the hat. I 
and then I'm gonna take this tail and then insert to the needle and then I insert my needle right here and bring it inside the hat and I'm just gonna tie a few knot. Make sure it's secure and then you just trim the tail and you're done. Congratulations, you just create a beautiful hat. It's very easy and very beautiful, right? <laughs> I hope you enjoy making this project. If you do, don't forget to give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel. And I would love to see your hat as well. Please feel free to tag me on Instagram or Facebook. I will put the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next video. Bye bye.